Hi guys, uh, today I'm gonna demonstrate a new wireless module for your Canon EOS camera that you can use to connect DSLR controller wirelessly. Um, it's a TP-Link MR3040 and um, it's a small pocketable wireless router. There are two of them over here. Why do I have two? Um, because there are two different hardware revisions. There's a version 1 and there's a version 2. Doesn't really matter which one you get, uh, they both work perfectly fine. Uh, the only difference is that you need to figure out which version you have so you download the right file from our website. Uh, apart from that, the functionality is exactly the same. Um, what these little guys offer is um, an integrated 2000 uh, milliamp hour battery. So this will work for a couple of hours. You can just connect your camera to the USB port here. Then you turn it on. We wait a little bit for it to boot. And then we'd connect it by USB cable to the camera and we'd be able to uh, control it wirelessly via the DSLR controller. Um, I could connect it to this camera right here but it's not pointing at anything interesting so I'm just going to connect it to the camera that's actually watching the table. Um, if you paid attention you just saw this light come on which means that the Wi-Fi hotspot is ready. Um, I'm just going to connect it to a camera real quick. Uh, of course you could have connected it before it was ready, that doesn't really matter. So I'm plugging it in, turning on my camera. On the tablet I go to my Wi-Fi networks and we'll see a DSLR controller network pop up. Uh, the password is DSLR controller by default just push connect wait a second until we're connected okay Is that connect please right we're connected then we just start the DSLR controller. And we're connected wirelessly. As you can see, the frame rate is not spectacular. It's about 10, maybe 15 frames per second if you're lucky. Um, but it's Wi Fi, it's not going to get much faster than that. Uh, if you want it faster, you need to wait for Wi-Fi to become faster or use a USB cable. But it's a great and cheap solution if your uh, camera doesn't already support Wi-Fi like the 6D and the 70D do. And even if you do have a 6D or 70D, those will not allow you to use video uh, while connected wirelessly. While using a solution like this TP-Link device will allow you to use video wirelessly. Still the frame rate is not as fast as USB, so the question is if you really want to use it that way, but uh, the option is there if you want to. Uh, also several customers support uh, report that the Wi-Fi connection through the TP-Link is more stable than connecting directly to the camera. So if you have stability issues with your Wi-Fi on the 6D or 70D, then you might want to try this out. And if your camera doesn't have Wi-Fi at all, of course, this is a very quick and cheap solution to add it to your camera. Um, out of the box, of course, it doesn't immediately work with DSLR controller. On our website, there's a guide on uh, a firmware you can download and how to install it to the TP-Link. So it becomes a wireless router for the DSLR controller. Uh, the link will be below the video or if you're actually already on the DSLR controller website, then <laughs> you just have to scroll down and all the information will be there. Okay, enjoy!